You are watching Tutor Midge. For today's video, I will be teaching you the process on how to use the data analysis tool in MS Excel. So let's start. The first thing we will do is to integrate our data analysis tool. So the first to click is file and then options. Okay, here we choose the add-ins. And then at the bottom, on the manage part here, we click on go. Then we tick the analysis tool pack. Okay, only the first one. And then click OK. Okay, we can see here now the data analysis. Okay. So this is now the sample problem. So these are the data. The problem is, in the past two years, every month a poll was taken to measure the perception of people who rate the governor of the province on his job performance. The percentage of those who judged that performance as satisfactory are listed below. So since that is two years, we have 24 data. Now we will highlight these 24 cells. Then let us type the data given. Okay, so we have here 80, 54, 53, 54, 49, 68, 69, 50. Okay, so let us type everything. Okay, so we have 51, 70, 73, 80, 57, and 66. Okay, after that, we will click on the data analysis. Okay. Remember, that is your data menu and then you're going to click on data analysis. Then choose descriptive statistics. Now, let us fill this one. Just simply click on the first um, data up to the last one. You drag it down to highlight. There you are. Now, next, let us tick new worksheet. Then the K um, largest and the K smallest then we have to take also the summary statistics so this is now the summary okay so what we are going to do here is to just um, maximize this one and then we can now round the data up to two decimal place if Okay, so we have here now the mean, the median, the mode, standard deviation, sample variance, courtesies, skewness, and range. And we have also the largest and the smallest data. Okay, so that's how easy um, to use the data analysis tool in our MS Excel. I just hope you ha you can follow the process. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Tormed.